Uh, first of all, I want to start out with thanking uh, all of our staff that on both sides of that have worked on the budget. They are truly amazing people that work really hard at what they do and we appreciate them. But today, uh, I'd like to say that Governor Pritzker is keeping his promise. He's keeping his promise to raise taxes on Illinois citizens by a billion dollars a year to fund the migrant crisis that he's created. Since taking office, we've seen increased spending on non-citizens around a million dollars per year to roughly a billion dollars each year. Not only do the families of Illinois have to pay their own health care, now they have to pay more so that non-citizens can get top-of-the-line health care. This legislation also directs funding for the migrant crisis itself, subverting substantial resources from the citizens of our state to address the issue. On top of all of that, it contains supplemental funding to fill the budget gap created by the excessive spending on migrants over this past year, which the governor hopes that the people of Illinois may not notice. Thanks to the use of executive orders and moving funds around, it's impossible for us to get a full accounting on migrant spending over the past year. We introduced legislation to change that, to require agencies to track these funds so that taxpayers could get a full and transparent accounting. I continue to believe that if Governor Pritzker wants taxpayers to pay another $1 billion in new taxes to fund this crisis. The people of this state deserve to know how it's being spent. I think this budget is just another example of a long list of misplaced priorities. It fails to make the citizens of our state its priority. And on this Memorial Day weekend, we're about to pass a budget that will allocate more than three times as much funding for non-citizens than for the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs for the vital services of our nation's veterans. That should be completely unacceptable for everyone here today. And meanwhile, hundreds of residents here in central Illinois who work at Logan Correctional Center are currently waiting to find out if they will lose their jobs or be forced to pick up their lives and move their families to another part of this state just to stay employed. They are rightfully wondering, would this be happening to them if the billions of dollars that we've spent on this self-made migrant crisis had been used to address the deferred maintenance on their facility and the countless other correctional facilities throughout our state that's been needed for years? a question they will never get answered. Those who choose to vote for this budget are choosing to leave our state's citizens behind while they're struggling more than ever to make ends meet. We believe this budget is wrong, plain and simple, and our citizens deserve more. Thank you.